welcome to Den of Tools. Hi there, guys and gals. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here uh, on the road. So, uh, hence the icon, the smiling mug down there. Yep, no live bear today. Anyway, we're doing a reaction to the world's first drill reimagined smart drill. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> We're going to step through this. We're going to talk about this. This is a bunch of you all have been sending this to me. This is a, a new thing we see over on the old Kickstarter there, of course. And I, I know how you all feel about Kickstarter, but I, you know what? I saw this thing and it looked like Star Trek if they got purchased by Ikea. So I had to take a look at this thing, had to see what they're talking about. Let's step through their video real quick. We'll do a bit of a reaction to their, their video here. And then we'll talk about the pricing and what we actually think of this thing. This is X-Drill. It's the drill reimagined. The drill reimagined. I know, I know, I know. But okay, looking at this, I know it's a prototype. The shiny plastic, that gives me pause. The gold flake on the trigger, that's just too much. At least it's a metal chuck. That makes me happy. Um, but uh, other than that, I don't know. Let's see what else they got for us. Yeah, we know that term is more worn down than a father of five at a family vacation. But trust us, there's no better way to describe our trail. If one was... I don't know. I might call it the wobbler. Have you seen so much wobble? Okay. It's a prototype. Gotta remember it's a prototype. But that wobble. ...to make, or imagine, if you will, a drill today. What would it consist of? Sure, it would have to be a terrific drill, but what else? You'd probably want a way to help you know exactly where to drill without the help of a measuring tape and a pencil. It should also have a system that stops the drill when you've reached the right depth. It should let you know if you're leveled and, as everything today, it should have a touch screen. Man, I was right there. I was like, this is sounding good. I like what he's saying. I like these features, the depth and all that. And then he goes, and of course, it has to have touch screen, which... I've honestly never thought, hmm, I wish this drill had a touch screen. x has got all that and more. It's made for pros and also amazing for beginners. Basically, it's got everything to make drilling so much simpler. Our motor is brushless. The battery is 21 volts with a three hour work rate for charge. The drill works both forward and reverse. Again, they were pulling me in brushless motor, I, I like the, the battery charger. It's different. It's not exactly what I would have preferred, but at least it's not that little, you know, a uh, backpack. I think it sits on the battery and then it goes and it goes forward and reverse. Well, thank goodness for that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is that a feature forward and reverse? And it's high speed, low torque reaches 2000 RPM while low speed, high torque goes up to 600. In case you're not a drill buff, all that technical jargon means our drill can go through the hardest surfaces. This is like the second or third time we've seen it try to drill through this piece of sheet metal. It's still not through it. And this is not going to be the last time we see it in the video. They talk about how the, all the torque and stuff this drill has, and they still haven't gotten through the sheet metal. In fact, by the end of the video, keep an eye out for it. They're still going to be working on it. And do so precisely. We also made sure the grip is ergonomic and comfortable to use and that the drill will come in regular and very manly red with flames. Now we're kidding about that one. The first feature I thought they might actually deliver on that seemed kind of fun and cool, the red with flames, of course, is not actually a feature. Ah. Oh. X-Drill is the first ever smart drill. I called Mori Povich on this one and he did some tests and he came back and said, that claim is a lie. Uh, the works has been calling uh, their little drill with their AI feature, a smart drill for years now. And that's just one. I'm sure there's other people out there claiming smart drill, but that's the first one to jump uh, up into my head. If there's other ones, you know, out there that are claiming smart drill, let me know down below, but clearly their claim of uh, smart being the first smart drill is uh, uh, not a factual. First, there are the two lasers, one in the front and one on the bottom. Here's how they eliminate measuring tape and pencil. Just hold the drill where you want to drill. The lasers measure the distance from the floor and the sidewall. We Honestly, officer, I don't know why the cat murdered him. I was simply drilling a hole in the wall and I went to turn the laser and, oh. We call that drill point coordinates. That is oh so much time saving for the advanced drillers and will allow beginners not to be left with a wall with more holes than the plot of a soap opera. Yo soy. Tu hermano. 
All right, I'm getting sick and tired of this. Between the Squatty Potty and that Squatch Soap stuff, every new product thinks they have to be edgy and cool and funny with their videos. It's a tool. I don't need a soap opera joke. x Digital Leveler, that ball in the middle of the touchscreen, lets you know you're leveled as you drill. Now here's a feature that I could actually use, but I don't need it here in the horizontal going into a wall. I need it vertical when I'm drilling down into a workpiece on my workbench. So I don't have to then instead take it over to a drill press. This would alleviate so many issues in so many setups. We wanted to make things as simple as the music of boy band songs. Are we doing this again? Really? Do we really have to do this again? Oh. Then our imagination came up with auto set features. A smart drill allows for that. First, there's depth control. Set up how many inches or centimeters you want to go into the wall and the drill stops automatically when you reach it. Okay, it's a cool feature, but I do the same thing with a piece of tape these days. Second is custom angle leveling. Tap, save an angle, and any two holes you drill will have the same angle. Okay, this is cool. This basically makes it a virtual pocket hole jig. Think about that. I like this idea. Can they implement it and have it actually work? I don't know, but I like the idea of it. And finally, auto set allows you to automatically set torque speed according to the material you're working with and the size of the drill bit. Of course, you can still adjust torque manually. We're here to improve, not extract. Since it's smart, x comes with an app with useful information. You can set it to save measurements, find your tool, lock it if it's stolen, set up user profiles, get usage data, runtime torque and speed, and keep count of the number of times you drop the drill. Yeah, but you didn't even think that's a thing. We did. Of course they did. Not that you're really going to care how many times it gets dropped, but when you send it in for warranty support on their all of one year warranty and they can look it up and see, oh, you've dropped this half a dozen times and they deny your claim based on that. Of course they thought of this. Well, there you go. There you have it. That's the X drill. Uh, as you can see there, don't, no, hold on, hold on. It's not $400, at least not U.S. Up, up north it is. Uh, in the United States, it's approximately $291. Now, now just consider, at $291, you are talking Milwaukee Fuel, high-end battery package, uh, DeWalt XR. This is a top-of-the-line package here. And this is the early bird price. Yeah, the early bird, you get the drill, the 20 volt, 21 volt battery. So I'm guessing that they're saying that's like the standard rather than the max. So I'm guessing it's the same kind of battery package as you would see in the cobalt line. Uh, you get the corded charging station and and that's it. Now for, for, for 449 or $328 US, you get the plastic case. I'm assuming it's plastic. I tried to find a bunch of stuff on the case. That's a lot of money for a, a blow molded case. It better be like brushed, painted aluminum or something, have a charging port built into it. I don't know what they're doing that makes it so special, but they clearly think a lot about this case. Uh, the, the, the battery on this, it's a pretty basic battery. I mean, there's nothing really to write home about this. Uh, it looks to me all the world like uh, one of the batteries you'd see from Rockwell or from Works, uh, just with the voltage you see from uh, a Cobalt. There's nothing about this that says, hey, yeah, two, two, two batteries and two charging stations for 457 US. That That's the, the, the top of the line early bird. Only if you go in early on this, because it, if you wait, it's going to be more. This is going to be a crash and burn, I think, if I ever saw. You know, it's sad because a lot of the ideas they have, there's some pretty good ideas. But if you look at this thing, it it's a neat setup. It's a neat concept. They've raged, raged, <laughs> they've raged, they've raised $96,000. So there's people out there who do believe in them. Uh, you know, I, 129 Canadian. Anyway. So they've they've surpassed their goal. Although what I th they thought they were going to do with twenty two thousand dollars, I have no idea. There's no way they were going to do anything with twenty seven thousand dollars other than keep it. Um, you're trying to bring a drill like this, a, a mass market, you know, 
a tool like this to production, you're not going to do that for under, you know, probably half a million dollars. This has got to be first run, first run funding that they're going to use to build a set of prototypes that are, you know, that they can send out to get second and third round uh, funding. That's, that's the only thing I can assume here. So it's a cool idea. And they've brought other things to market before. But at the end of the day, what do you all think? Are you willing to spend this kind of money on a drill like this? Do you like the features? How about that? Are these features that you think are useful? I think there's a lot of features in there that are really useful. I don't know if I like the way they implement it. That swiveling laser thing is a bit odd, a bit cumbersome. But if it works, it's not stupid, right? And the question is, does it work? Here's the thing. I reached out to this company and I've heard back crickets. They didn't want to talk to me. They didn't want to disclose any information. That right there sends up uh, warning flare, you know, warning signals for me. So I don't know. You let me know what you think of the X drill down in the comments below. Are you going to be pledging <laughs> a large sum of cash for a power tool that may or may not ever actually exist? Anyway, that's all the bear has to you has for you today. Coming to you from the road. Anyway, stay tuned for uh, more fun stuff. We'll try to do some more store walkthroughs and stuff while we're out here uh, on our way down and around in Las Vegas and back up to Montana, which can't come soon enough for me. Anyway, till next time, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.